All right, welcome back to Cooking with a Veteran. As always, I'm your host, Dave Rogers. I'm wearing my red today to remember all my brothers and sisters out there who were deployed away from their families. Wherever you are, we hope that you're safe and that you come home soon. And we want you to know that we love you, we miss you, and we're thinking about you. So it's raining on and off today. It's supposed to be raining over the next couple of days. And you know me, rainy weather, cold weather, hell, even hot weather, I love some soup. So today, I am making up some split pea soup. I got some of my garlic from my friends at Prohibition. Okay, I'm gonna put some of my garlic inside of there in the pan. I got onions, uh, celery, and carrots in here. I'm gonna put some of that inside the pan. And I'm just gonna saute this up. All right, so I didn't have any leftover ham. I went to my friend of the Tennessee Meat Company, picked up a shank. I did have some smoked ham hocks left over. I put that in one of those uh, turkey bags and I cooked it up in the oven. Look how gorgeous that is, all right? All right, the vegetables are nice and sauteed up. I'm gonna take my ham, look at that beautiful shank. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna take my ham hocks. I'm gonna add a little bit of red pepper flakes, some black pepper, some paprika, and some salt. I have the juice from the peas, I'm gonna put that in there. And typically people would use uh, chicken broth. I'm gonna use a vegetable broth in this one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cover that, it's on a medium, and I'm gonna let this cook up for about 30 minutes so that the pork gets more tender. All right, so the ham's been cooking for about 30 minutes on a medium. I'm gonna go ahead at this time and I'm gonna add in my peas. And I'm using a combination here of sweet peas and pigeon peas. I like the juxtaposition of the sweetness and a little bit of tartness in my split pea soup. So let's go ahead and put the peas in. I'm gonna let that uh, sit on the medium and let it cook for another about 45 minutes and we'll check back on them. All right, so while I'm boiling this up, I'm gonna add in a little bit of parsley, some thyme, a touch of rosemary, and I'm gonna add in some bay leaves. All right, so the peas and the pork have been cooking down for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the pork out. I'm going to add in one can of cream of mushroom. That's my little secret to my split pea soup. All right, and I have my masher. You can use an electric uh, blender or whatever you want to use. I got my masher and I just want to mash up some of the peas so that it creates that thick kind of broth inside the soup. So I'm not gonna mash them all up. As you can see, some of them are still pretty whole, um, but I, like I said, I wanted to create that thick kind of gravy inside of the soup. And while the peas are continuing to cook. I'm going to take my pork and I'm going to slice it up into really small pieces. And now that the meat is all chopped up, I'm going to go ahead and add it back into the soup. All right, that's coming along beautifully. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to let it slow cook, slow simmer for about another 30 minutes. Really get those peas um, nice and tender make sure all the meat is nice and it was really tender we'll make sure it's all nice and tender and get that flavor flowing through and then we'll give it a try all right so the soup has been cooking for another half an hour let's give it a try gorgeous split pea soup i like a nice amount of pepper in my split pea soup you can taste the pepper the peas are nice and tender. The meat is nice and tender. Just a beautiful split pea soup. Hope you enjoyed joining me on this episode of Cooking with a Veteran. As always, please make sure you like, share, and follow. And until next time, hoorah.